Hello and welcome to What's Bubbling at Zen. I'm Inventor Dan Zen, and in this bubbling, we'll continue to look through the code at the Zim Neo site. So here we are at zimjs.com, and Zim Neo is here, Zim9. We'll click to go in. We already looked at the path in the Orient in a previous bubbling before we introduced the Neo. Let's look at the flip and speed. So just to pull that up. Flip allows you to change, as, as you change direction, see how the eyes flip? Boop, boop. Now that's not getting to the end of the animation and then flipping like that, but rather flipping relative to the direction on the path. Here's another example along the squiggle. We're looking down, we're looking up, we're looking down, we're looking up. So let's dig into the code and see how this is done. Another thing that we're doing is, even though this is an animation, we're not really running it as an animation. We're scrubbing the animation with a scroll bar or a slider. Okay, let's uh, check that out. Close that down or reduce it. Pop on into some code. We're in Zim 9. By the way, you can grab this type of code on the code page of Zim, zimjs.com, and then slash code, and there's a copy button, and it will pull up a template for you. We're bringing in a couple assets that goes on the top and the bottom. No worry there, passing in the assets as we build the frame. That's new to Zim 7, but uh, that's some time ago now. We're applying some styles to the sliders. We've got two sliders. The first slider we're setting to a background color of red, and the next slider that gets made will be yellow. We're doing that by passing a series into the style. Same with, uh, that's like nth child, I suppose, in, in uh, HTML and CSS. And roll background color, we're passing in a series. But unlike the nth child, uh, this is a Zim V value. This whole thing right here, every value here. If we go 50, comma 60, what that means, something slightly different. This will randomly pick either one of those things. We can also specify a min and a max, min colon 50, comma max colon 60, and now it would pick a number between 50 and 60 for the width at any time width is used. So you get a whole bunch of random uh, widths. That is the power of ZimV. And we can use ZimV, the ZimV values in ZIC, it's called, inside of values for styles. So it's not just a series we can do, it's a whole bunch of different things, including functions, min-max ranges, uh, random pickings, that kind of stuff. All right, let's back out of that. That's not really what we're talking about, but isn't that exciting? So here's uh, an example of styling two sliders slightly differently. And that's what gives us, let's view the source here, open in browser. That's what gives us these, this color and that color, boop. We're coming down, we're making a rectangle. Uh, there's the new corner, the corner that allows us to do four different corners in an array like that. By the way, if we do want to style that and set all rectangles to that, because a Zim V value picks randomly from this, we would have to turn that into, if we were styling, we would say no zik, colon, that. So it's a slight hiccup in the system, but I think the power of picking randomly from an array overrides the currently one area where we add an array as a style. So we have to say, don't zik that. Alternatively, we could go in and say, all right, for corners, the options are not available for us. Uh, I'm not sure which way that'll play out. It may be that we go and write currently we no zik it. Uh, so we have this rectangle that we're making. We're positioning it and scaling it, and then we're animating it. So this is what we've come to see. We've come to see the flip. So here we're animating to an x and y of four. Four, well, 570 and 400. Oh, that's relative x and y, by the way. So that's 570 from its current position and 400 from its current position. We're assigning flip equals true and vertical flip equals true. Let's comment those out. 
the time is that, and the ease is linear. Now this would, if we didn't do anything else, if we didn't have this slider down here, it looks like that's it right there. Let's comment that out and see this animation go. So we refresh here and bloop. I don't see an animation go. I don't see a slider anymore. Did I comment out the wrong thing? That's a slider, which was controlling that. Oh, we wrecked dot pause animate. Okay, so that's the old way of doing it. There's now a new Zim uh, Neo way of doing it that is pause, oh, start, paused, colon, true, like that. So this might have been made before we brought in to play the start pause, so we don't have to pause that rectangle there. Now let's see the animation go. Close that. And, uh, no animation yet. Uh, now the first slider is red, so it's the wrong uh, color. A paused. Oh, start pause true. Well, <laughs> we're not wanting to start paused. So we'll set that to false, or if we leave it out, <laughs> we wouldn't start paused. There we go. <laughs> hey, it's animating. Now that animated just one direction because. That's all we did. If we want, we could put a rewind on there. Rewind colon true, comma. And now it will go back again. And that doesn't look very good because it, it went there. Uh, shall we also loop it? May as well loop it. Loop colon true, comma. That didn't look very good because it didn't flip. So now let's just try, I'm trying to just stop saying the word just. <laughs> Justly stop saying the word just. Uh, we will try flipping it only in the horizontal. And we refresh here. Now it goes down. And now it's looking to the left. But we are going vertically as well, so we might get away with flipping in the vertical as well. Now let's see what that looks like. Refresh here. There it goes down, looking down, and now it goes up, and it looks up. Neat, huh? That also works with the curve of it. By flipping both left and right, we end up getting a, sh a shape that looks more like the eyes are moving. I don't know if you noticed when we only do the flip the one way. Whoop. Watch as it flips. The whole shape kind of flips, which, which may work as well. Depends what, on what you've got there. Now we're not animating, so another thing that we want to look at is how are we dynamically uh, scrubbing this animation? So let's see how we're doing that. We'll bring in the, oh, bring back the flip vertical. Whoa, not that far back. And there's our ease of linear, start paused, false is in there. That's the stuff that we commented out here. Like so is a new slider. We're bringing in something new to uh, Zimneo as well, is that we now have damping on the slider. So the value of the slider will be damped directly, which means if we're setting something to the slider position, it doesn't go immediately there. It will go there after um, a sort of an easing is applied or a damping is applied. We put the slider on, on the stage. We're saying a mouse down, rect top. So bring the rectangle, if we, if we mouse down on this slider, bring the rectangle up to the top. If we didn't have that, then you would see something like this. Boop, 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 beep. Refresh there. So there's the slider. But now if I bring this one, oh, <laughs> there. So that's on top, and then I slide this one. Oh, it didn't bring it to the top, and I can't see the one I'm currently sliding. It's in behind. Hey, me, me, see me, I'm here. So, uh, yeah, fun with sliders. Uh, what do we do with that? Do we uh, comment it out? There it is. So now when we mouse down on that, we bring the rectangle up to the top with that short little chainable. Thank you, Emmy, for that. Uh, we're also adding a ticker. Now, because we've added damping, we do not use the slider.onChange. Normally we would say slider.onChange, do this stuff. But that only operates when the slider changes. Damping needs to work all the time so that uh, even when we finish sliding the slider, when the slider's not changing, 
it still damps the results so it slides to a final resting position. Do you want to see what that looks like? So we'll come in here and refresh. Uh, as I slide and stop, do you see how it's still going? Whoosh. It looks quite unnatural to have the damping there and then as soon as I stop moving, all of a sudden this thing jars to um, a stop. So when you're using damping, you need to use the uh, ticker so that it can always go. And what we're doing in the ticker is we're setting the rectangles percent complete. That's how much the animation is complete. That's new to Zim Neo. So it's a percentage, 0 to 100. Or you can actually go outside of that range as well. And then we say uh, set the percent complete to the slider's current value because we've sent we've set the slider to go from zero to a hundred. And let's see what that's doing. And one more time, we refresh here. As I slide, there's the middle. <laughs> I don't know exactly why the eyes are going crazy. It might be because we're uh, we've got a rewind on it. Boing, get a boing, get a boing, get a boing. You see how it's not quite quite right. It's sort of bouncing like that. That's because it's trying to slide through the rewind as well. So we didn't really want to rewind, nor do we need a loop. I don't think it'll matter if we loop, but we've got that one. We're just making it slide there. Eyes are still broken. Something must be going on with the the eyes. What, what have we done that's different? I don't think it has to do with the start paused. Let me just undo that. Oh, say, not saying the words up. Undo and make sure there was something in there that we did that caused those eyes to jump around. I'm not positive what it was. So we save that up and are we good now? Let's, hopefully those eyes won't jostle. Well, they're not flipping. Bring back in flips. Whadoop. 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 And it's fine. Yeah, so I'm not sure what it was in there that caused that. All right, that's the one. Let's take a look at the other one. The other one is on a path, and it's doing that on the path. Woohoo! So much the same. That was a slider. Here's part two. Here's our path, the new squiggle. We're not showing the controls. Uh, that means I think we can access the controls if we want. There we click. Uh, we sort of made it and whoa it's a big roller coaster hey you wait your turn ready oh um, nice it's a roller coaster roller coaster uh -huh. all right so part two on the path there it is uh, if we don't want to toggle those controls, allow toggle colon false comma. And now we come back here and refresh. And oh, it's sad. I can't. I can't change the controls. It's locked in there. Oh, poor thing. Now it's only half as interactive. <laughs> I can't make a roller coaster. I want to make a roller coaster. Like yeah, let me make a roller coaster again. Ready? I had an idea. I want to do a loop. Don't you want to do a loop? As soon as you heard roller coaster, you were probably thinking, man, we should loop. Uh, what do you think? There, that's a bit better. Open that up a touch wide. Whoa, that's <laughs> that's quite the opening dip. I just lost my lunch. All right, ready? All right, good. So see how much more fun it is when you can do the controls. And we're scaling it. No, nope, we're scaling it. We can skew it, we can rotate it, and it will still follow that path. So if you make a squiggle or you've got a pattern squiggle, we've now launched Pizzazz 4 that are all these little squiggles. Well, hey, do you want to try one? Just for the, the heck of it. Let's go to uh, Zim, this one right here, called Pizzazz. Poor doink. I think we even had a roller coaster on there. There it is. So we pick the roller coaster. We grab the code from it. Copy that. 
we go back to where we were. Uh-oh, that's gone out to Zim. So I'll just go back again. Oh, I said just. There's the flip. And we come in here. And instead of just a, oops, instead of a normal squiggle, we now say points, colon, and we paste the stuff that we got with a comma. So now our squiggle is made from those points. We save that. We've scaled it up by two, so I don't know if that's a good thing. Let's try it out. <laughs> there is the... <laughs> oh, you know what? <laughs> the roller coaster isn't even a squiggle. So it's almost... Uh, the squiggle and the uh, thingamajiggy are almost the same, the blob, but not quite. So you see how we're missing the ending curve of that. It still seems to want to work, <laughs> but we're missing the curve going back around. So really, this is a blob, blob, and it has those points. And we refresh here, and there we have a blob, although it's uh, got a fill. Wow! And if we don't want the fill, then we go to the blob and we say border uh, color colon blue, like that. As soon as we put a border color without another color, it will automatically assume you're just wanting an outline on that. So there's there's the outline. We. It looks like this is the first point. So we're animating from there. Wow, and around and back to there again. Let's see if we can go twice around just by setting. This is, sorry, I'm supposed to only be introducing you to the new things. We're now exploring, aren't we? This is, I want to explore. What about you guys? Don't you want to explore? How would we go twice around? Uh, so I think we can just say 200. Let's try it. So now our slider will go from 0% to 200% complete. And uh, we'll see, maybe it'll break. I don't know. Wow, there we go up. No, it just went to a max of 100, so that's kind of sucky. I wonder if we were to loop twice on the animation. I, I know there's definitely a way that we could do this. There's, there's the animation. We don't have a loop that's in here. Loop colon true. And then I don't know if it makes a difference to, we're looping colon true. Let's just try that, or we will try that. I suspect this won't make a difference. No, it didn't. And I don't know if saying loop count equals true probably won't loop count colon true comma. Well, that's too bad. I was hoping that 200% worked. It has worked in other things for me. I know that didn't, didn't make a difference either. So how would we scrub twice around? Brah, brah, brah. See, that's why we should be exploring now. So really, a max of 200 didn't do it. Is there any other limitation that you can see? I don't see anything. Uh, so we'll have to come back to that at another point. What might work is Instead of anim instead of scrubbing the percent complete, we can scrub the percent speed, and it will be zero, and then two hundred will go um, twice as fast. Let's see what scrubbing the percent speed gives us. Zero. <laughs> I don't see a speed going. Did I actually change something here? It looks like I'm just still going. Not sp I'm not speeding that animation. It's just sitting there. Is it because we paused the animation? Where was that animation? Flip vertical, loop, loop count time, ease, rect dot pause. Why are we in and are pausing a rect again? We made a second rect. What was the first one called? Oh, we're on the first one. Oh. Oh. Do you see what it is? <laughs> <laughs> we were we were changing the first one to the max of 200 is on the first one, not on the second one. So let's try that again. Oh, brother. Uh, we're animating, and here's the second slider. <laughs> 200. Here I am going, it's not working. Why is it working? We're on the second slider. So I don't know. It's still 
<laughs> there goes that one, not pause anymore. And now let's see how the roller coaster does. Oh, there. Oh, it stopped though. It, it looks like it's trying to get twice around, but maybe now if we loop on it, perhaps it'll go. Because look, we got halfway there and it <clears throat> hit the, the stop on the animate. And um, let's just undo. Sorry, no just. Remember, see, that's why I have to get rid of this just. I'm saying it in almost every sentence I say just. So which one's that? That was that one. Oh, we made a border color blue. Good. We want that. We want the comma. We're down in here. Orient false. <laughs> Flips true. And in this one, we want to go to 200 here again. Undid that. 200. Second slider. Yes. We're not doing percent speed. We're still doing percent complete. And let's try the loop on here. Uh, loop colon true, comma, and try this out now. It worked. So there is what is needed. We've looped colon true, and our slider is going twice around. So 200% complete. And if we did the percent speed, uh, you know what? Percent speed is coming up. Why don't we just leave it? But if we change this to percent speed, we could use a slider to control the speed of our guy on the roller coaster. Don't you want to see it? I just want to see it. Shh. Percent speed equals the current value. And we refresh here. One up. No speed. Still no speed. Have we started paused? Let's go take a look. Start pause. Now, which one are we on? <laughs> Be careful here. Start pause true. Comment that it. We will not start paused. And, wow, there it goes. <laughs> I don't, oh, is it dynamic? No. Come on. Dynamic. If you want to control percent speed, dynamic true. That turns it into something that you can control. Otherwise, it's a normal animation along the path and percent speed doesn't do anything to it. So we've set it to dynamic. Zero. Whoa, slower. Down the hill, back around, getting faster. What? Sorry, your roller coasting days. I'm afraid you've got to get off. Get off. No, I can't get off. I'm stuck at the top. I'll come and help you. I'll come and help you. Whatever. All right. So fun with roller coasters. Nice. Roller coaster. Uh-huh. And we've got some assets. And then I better undo this whole thing. There we go. And we save that. All right. Well, tell you what. That was a lot of fun, huh? Speed. Well, we've already seen most of speed. Let's just take a, oops, let's take a quick peek. <laughs> let's just take a quick peek. Do you like the just? I don't know, whatever. Uh, uh, try and find that in your own speech patterns too. Is there a word that you say all the time? Like, I don't know, man. Like, 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 this one's percent speeding. So uh, we can even percent speed in the negative. Or in the positive. So now we kind of know how that's done already. Isn't that true? And we come in here. This is the percent speed one. We've got roughly the same thing. Here's our animation, and there's the dynamic true. That allows us, with a slider, to change the percent speed. And our slider has damping, so we're doing that inside of a ticker. We're using ticks to show the ticks. We've got a different bar length and a min of minus 300% and a max of 300%. The step of 30. And then that's uh, positioned on there. Here's our animate. Uh, note that we're just, crap. Note that we are animating the rotation to 360. So this is a pretty simple animation. It's not along a path. Any animation we can change the speed of if we put dynamic true. We have a loop and the time and override false. Why do we need the override false? I don't think we 
need our override false at all. It must have come from somewhere else. That would mean don't uh, don't break your other animation. If there's some other animation, I don't see some other animation, so I think we're good, and we are. All right, that's been what bubbling. We've taken a look at two of them in the Zim Neo section there. The two that we looked at were flip and speed. In a previous bubbling, we took a look at, at path and orient. We just looked at flip and speed. We'll come back for a couple more bubblings to take a look at these controls and extra and drag, parallax, maybe corners and pizzazz. Woot, 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 woo! I am inventor Dan Zen, Dr. Abstract, here at What's Bubbling for Zim. Come on in, zimjs.com. Head on into Slack, zimjs.com slash Slack. And join us. Uh, we've got a couple dozen people all happy working on Zim, and hopefully we'll grow that. You can be part of the growth. Woohoo! Ciao.